Hi everyone, I'm Gabe from Owncast. I wanted to take some time today to show you how you can run your own live stream on a server that you control cheaply and easily using Linode. People think that running your own live streaming server is difficult and expensive, but I wanted to show you how with Owncast, you can own your content for as little as $5 a month without turning it over to the big corporations. So let's begin with the Linode Marketplace. You can see here, I have the linode.com up on my browser, and you can simply select Owncast as an option and create Linode. And here you will be asked what you want your streaming server name to be. So I registered a cool new domain name earlier today, uh, beststreamingclub.com, and we'll just call this live beststreamingclub.com and throw in your email address uh, for SSL certificate purposes. Uh, the rest of this is the standard Linode server provisioning. So we'll just uh, you know, pick a region. Uh, as always, you have to pick a plan that is right for you, but keep in mind, anytime you're talking about video encoding, the more CPU you can afford to throw at the task, the more flexibility and better quality you're going to have in the end. So just pick something that is reasonable for your use case. Uh, you'll always need the RIP password, your SSH keys, but then you're ready to go. So we will create the Linode. And you'll see here that Linode has already given us an IP address, which is awesome because we can just copy that and go over to your DNS provider. In my case, it's just hover.com and I'm going to create an A record pointing to that new host name that we just said that we were using over at the uh, Linode Marketplace. And we can paste in that IP address. So now it'll take a few minutes for Linode to provision the server and the new host name to propagate. So at this point, take a moment to drop by the Owncast website at owncast.online and browse the documentation to learn how you can get the most out of your new live stream. There's far more functionality than we'll get to in this brief video. But for now, we'll just skip a few minutes into the future and I'll catch you right back momentarily. All right, great. It looks like our new Linode server is provisioned and DNS has propagated. So let's uh, go check out our new Owncast server at live.beststreamingclub.com. You can see it's up. There was no SSH. There was no command line utilities you had to run. You have a full server up and running with SSL ready to be streamed to right now. So let's do exactly that. Let's start streaming. So I have a copy of OBS here running and let's uh, change the service from the default to custom. The default stream key of any Owncast installation is simply ABC123 and you'll wanna change that and we can start streaming. And you can see it's uh, off and running. I look like an adorable cat. And I'll take this moment to uh, tell you to like and subscribe and send this video to a friend and ring the bell, comment below, because I think those are all the things you're supposed to say on YouTube. Anyway, we'll uh, check here on our page and you can see that the uh, me as a cat is there streaming, talking to you. So we're up and running. So I will stop this stream and we'll uh, go visit the admin. To log into the Owncast admin, the username is always admin and the password is always that stream key. So ABC123, that default. And you'll get greeted by the, uh, the admin page. And here's where you can do all the configuration so the first place you'll probably want to go is the general page where you can change the name, cool live stream, and you have a bunch of different pieces of metadata here. Here you can add tags and social links, uh, your, you know, a little bit of your description. You can upload a logo, um, but this is pretty cool. You can uh, throw some markdown in here, live streaming club. So cool, OMG having so much fun. And you can throw as much markdown in there as you want and it'll show up on your page.
So it's a pretty quick way to customize the, the content there. So we'll, we'll save that. There are a handful of other pages. Uh, like I said, you'll want to change your stream key from this default, and the server setup page is where you will do that. But really, the magic happens on this video configuration page. You'll see here that there is a single default stream output with a relatively low uh, bit rate, just to kind of get you up and running. But you can create a new one really easily. You choose how much CPU you want to throw at this, uh, this specific variant. Um, we'll say hi. We'll uh, give it a 300K. And we'll see, say OK. And that's it. Now you have uh, adaptive bitrate configured to allow people with slower networks to get that 1200 and people with faster networks to get that 3000K. So that's very cool. It was that easy to do it. You'll see here the latency buffer, uh, which is the amount of time between uh, you and when, when the viewers see the video. So for most interactive streams, you kind of want to bump that down a little bit, but you can experiment what's best with you. Um, there is a really cool feature where if you believe that your audience is going to be quite large and will exceed the amount of bandwidth that your hosting provider, in this case, Linode gives you, uh, you can actually hand off that responsibility of uh, bandwidth to a S3 compatible storage provider. And Linode has a great one that works, you know, for five bucks a month. So if you're worried about bandwidth, you can throw an extra five dollars at it and sleep well at night knowing that you're not going to have like a crazy bill down the road. A few more other pages, you can keep an eye on your hardware utilization, some logs, and some uh, really cool integration hooks you can build with Owncast to get web hooks to know about when streams go live, when chat messages happen, and you can create access tokens so you can perform actions from third-party code into your own CAS server. So that is a brief overview of the admin. But by this point, you've probably heard enough from me about Owncast. So let's have somebody who's far more prolific and to be honest, a much better streamer than I am. Check it out. I'm going to throw it over to a friend of Linode, Veganbot, to take a look at Owncast. Thanks, Gabe. So I typically stream on Twitch. However, there's all sorts of projects and circumstances where self-hosting a stream with Owncast is a better option. For instance, I might want to host a private stream for just my community. Or maybe I'm working on a volatile project that's likely to crash and leak secrets, and I've been known to crash OBS and leak a token or two on stream. I don't want to stream it on Twitch yet, but I still want to collaborate and experiment with others live. Or maybe I want to run a 24-hour stream. I don't want to worry about Twitch's wonky content ID system. So all these are really simple with Owncast. So once you have your Owncast server up and running like we do right here with live.beststreamingclub.com, the process for converting a Twitch setup to an Owncast is very easy. If you're like me and using OBS, all you got to do is create a new profile and then change one setting in here. Go inside of your settings, go to stream, and you got to choose custom and put in your server here. So mine is rtmp colon slash slash live.beststreamingclub.com slash live. Please don't steal that. However, you can't steal it because I've got a stream key right here. So let's start this stream up here. And that stream key is just set right here inside of your server setup right here. And if this ever leaks, we can generate a new one. No big deal here. So since we started our stream over here, we should be live. Hey, there we are. Hey, what's up, Vegan? How are you doing here? We got a basic stream set up here. I can see myself. I'm talking. I'm doing stuff here. I can say hello. Goodbye. What's up? Nice. Excellent. Now, anyone who's seen my stream before knows that this is not going to be quite everything I want here because if I'm running a stream, I want the chat to be able to interact with me. I want the little play sounds, trigger effects in my OBS. Luckily, Owncast makes that super easy. So the key here is this integration sections right here. We got webhooks, we got access tokens. So webhooks are for all of the events you want to hook into. So stream started, stream just stopped, user joined the chat, user sent a message, user changed their username. All of those, boom, webhook. Access tokens are for all the different actions you actually want to send over to Owncast with the, uh, over the HTTP API. So they can be get all the viewers, get all the chat messages, get the stream title, get the stream key, fine, create, delete access tokens, fine, create, delete webhooks, fetch a status, change a setting, and more. So it's super easy to use these. For access tokens, boom, generate an access token with your permissions, put it somewhere inside your environment, and you're ready to go. So right here, here's a quick little demo. I got a curl statement right here. Curl, post. 
We're going to post JSON. Here is my access token, authorization bear. I'm passing it as an environment variable right here so you guys don't see it. And then I've got a little body right here. So it'll be a message that I'm going to also pass in as a, a variable right here. And you can see this is going to my HTTP URL, live.beststreamingclub.com, API slash integrations chat system. You can find all that inside the API documentation here. So watch this. I say, you know, make chat message hello. I look over here and we can see it says hello right here. If I want to say sup, boom, we're saying sup. Super easy. And since it's just HTTP, pretty much any programming language you're using, it's going to be really, really basic to connect to it. Now, what about receiving messages? That's where it comes to the webhooks here. So we already got a webhook. Let's just delete it. I don't even care about it anymore. Let's create a brand new webhook. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to take my program. I'm going to boot it up here. Boot my program up. What I did is I put a local bot that is actually listening on port 1969, listening for messages to be able to trigger various stuff inside my system. I'm going to use ngrok over here to create a tunnel to 1969, and it's going to give me a URL that I can expose to the outside world. I'm going to give this URL to Owncast. All the settings, give it the URL, boom. So now every single event that happens for Owncast, it's going to send to that ngrok URL, which will then tunnel it to my local 1969 URL port, and I will be able to respond to all these messages. So watch this right here. Over here, I've got my chat. I say, hello. Oh, God. Not quite. I say, hello. And boom, you can see this. It first hit ngrok. We got a post 200, okay? And then here is my server, and you can see it says owncast hello. So I can now process and do whatever I want with all of the user's chat messages in the system here. So let's trigger some sound effects. That means I should have access to all of my sound effects. Oh, that's not a sound effect. Here's a sound effect. There we go. We know our sound effects. There we go. Lovely. This also wow. means we can trigger all of our other effects, like our OBS effects. So this should trigger OBS. There we go. We're zipping around. Boom. And I can return myself to normal. So not that much work. That was seriously so little code, 130 lines of Go code. And I was able to hook up my own cast to pretty much my entire setup I've been building on Twitch. And uh, we're ready to build independent, private, crazy streams. So that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more to explore. If you're looking to host your own independent stream, definitely check out Owncast here. Back to you, Gabe. A huge thank you to Veganbot for checking out Owncast. Now you've seen how simple it is to get your stream up and running. And once your stream is ready to go, you can add it to the Owncast directory to join the community of streamers who have chosen to take full control over their content. So thanks for watching, and I look forward to visiting your Owncast stream soon.